Action. Action. Hi everybody, it's Judy from Blow Baby's Nursery and the Divine Miss Erin from Judy Bloyer Nursery. The real, yeah, original. the real deal. <laughs> Donovan. Yes, the nursery. Donovan. Donovan Nursery. Erin has finally come to visit her mother. Yes. It's been such a long time. She's such a neglectful mother. <laughs> well, um, but then you got to think, you know, I haven't gotten a visit from my mother since about a month after I moved out. So there's always that, too. Oh, I hate when they use that card. Erin, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> So we're here with a few of these babies, and then Erin and I are going to finally get, do some of the um, tags that Kimberly from Kimberly's Cocoon had uh, tagged us in like forever ago. But I wanted to introduce some new babies to the nursery here. This is baby Adelia. She is the Adelia sculpt from, um, oh, you know. It's uh, Olga I uh, Yeah, the I thing. think I, I should have looked all these up before you. But here she is. She is almost a newborn. Not quite a preemie. A very petite, sweet, sweet, sweet little girl. Her, um, her jacket and everything is newborn size. But I, I can't tell you what size she is. <laughs> almost. Almost newborn. They Love grow, you know. They grow... Her. Can you, you have a good picture of her face, Jen? To move her up or down? I can closer. zoom in. Look at that face. Just so sweet. I love the hat, too. I take it out. She's got pretty. I just fixed it. Oh, I know you did. And then I put her hat back on. But I have a little toothbrush here. Why don't you crack your knuckles with the camera, Aaron? I was trying, but it won't, be, it won't go loud enough. She must get that from her father. <laughs> By the people who don't like cracked knuckles, just ignore the background noise. So, does her hair look alright? No. No? Oh well. <laughs> so there she is, my little sweetheart. I love this girl. She's going up on my website when I finally get a website, <laughs> which is, should be soon. I've stopped doing customs because I've decided I'm too old to take orders from anybody but Aaron. Yes. So I'm not doing customs anymore. So some of these babies, I'm waiting. I'm making them for the website. Um, and this is baby Gracie. This is one of Bountiful Baby's real born kits. And her sculpt is Gracie. Oh. And Guess who wants to play? <laughs> oh, there's Mia. Yep, making her background noise. Why is it dogs on the street? Stuff. <laughs> there she's got a little water fountain curl here. And if you look in the back, she's got the sweet little baby curls. Beautiful lips. Brown eyes, dark brown hair. She is definitely a newborn size. And, uh,. That's baby Gracie, the bountiful baby Gracie kit. Yeah. Real born kit. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Mia. And this little guy. Oh, it's Mia's little parent toy. <laughs> this little guy, I was quite surprised at. Aaron said, What did you say about him, Aaron? I love his little face. He looks like a kid that I've seen before. Just anyone. A lot of little boys look like that. Uh, this is Presley Awake. This is another real born kit from Bonifal Baby. He's got the very sparse blonde hair. He's, um, I have not seen this baby anywhere. He's a real born. He's a real born. He's a newborn size. He weighs about five pounds. He's in this little shirt with pacifier hair. So, he'll be going up on the website. He's got the real dark, dark blue eyes and the big lips waiting for a kiss from Erin. Be waiting for a while. Oh, Erin. Taken. She's taken. But he's just a baby, Erin. <laughs> Finally, you use that and it applies. <laughs> I know. 
I know, you should say that about my dogs. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're seven years old, old in yeah. dog years, huh? But they're just a baby. <laughs> All right, let's so, get to it. We're going to get to the tax. All right, you can ask away. So we are doing the 15 questions tag. <coughs> From Kimberly. Yes. And the first question is, what do you think you can do but can't? What do you think? What do you think you're good at, but you're actually not? <laughs> I cannot make Aaron happy. Yeah. No matter what I do, I've been trying for almost 24 years. Yes, my birthday is two weeks from tomorrow. I'm going to be oldest and. What is it that you can't do? Stay young. <laughs> maintain my youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your youth is just I am starting. Not, I am not 24 years old. I am 23 years You're old. You're actually going to be finishing up your 24th year of life but when you turn 24. If the cops were looking for an Erin Aponte and they said that she is 24 years old, I would not be the one they were looking for because I am 23. Okay. None of us get to stay young. So, that's the answer of a sex question. Okay, next question. What's a difficult word for you to pronounce? <laughs> Cinnamon. So really? You're one of those? It took me almost 45 years <laughs> to be able to pronounce it. Now I can pronounce it. What's your, what's your word? Hmm. I don't know. I don't really have any words that I stumble on when I say them. I'm just really bad at, um, you know, reading comprehension. A lot of words I just don't know how to pronounce. To and, hear them the first time. Yeah. And then I will be that idiot who says the word and it's completely wrong. That's me every time. That I used to do that with my sister. Mm-hmm. I would you try a word say, I've never heard this word out loud. Let me try it. And then she'd correct it. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you say I've just started spelling it out and asking Kevin, how do you say this word? <laughs> T-H-E. <laughs> what is a favorite TV show from your childhood? Bewitched. You had TV back then? We did. Black and white. My favorite TV show as a child was Rugrats. Oh, yeah. I used to go crazy for Rugrats. You did. And Barney. And Barney. Barney was... Oh, she loved that purple Anyway. <laughs> what are your virtues and vices? My virtues? And vices. I don't have any virtues. What does that mean? Your virtues are that's good stuff. Your vices are the bad habits. Oh, no. I uh, Where do I begin? Uh, my virtues are... I'm loyal. I'm generous. Um, somewhat loving. <laughs> I like animals. Yeah. Um, I like babies. Not real ones. I, <laughs> not real ones, yeah. I liked them when they were mine, though. I definitely liked my own real babies. Um, I'm a pretty good artist. I'm very spiritual. Is virtues like your talents or like your good qualities? Your good qualities. Uh, you have time. This is going to be hard. All right. My vices are quick tempered. Mm. I'm not as patient as I should be. Mm. I am somewhat cynical. I, I um, I'm just a sinner. <laughs> and. You keep shaking the table, which shakes the camera. And I shake the camera. <laughs> okay, your turn. My virtues? Um, I think I have a good sense of humor. She has a great sense of humor. Uh, wicked intelligent. I was going to say, I think um, there's some sort of intellect. Some level of Very intellect. intellect. <laughs> Uh, I have a good eye for detail. I'm very detail oriented um, and organized and have. What? You're an amazing photographer. Oh, yes. I'm, I like photography a lot. Um, I, 
I think I have a good, I have, an, I have the ability to, I have somewhat of a photographic memory where I can look at something and then go take the test on it and ace it, but then I'll, I'll probably forget it later. So it's, it's a work in progress. My vices, uh, I'm very impatient. I, once I start to get annoyed, I go from zero to 10 in about an instant. <laughs> uh, and I'm also very, very irritable and very easily annoyed. Um, that's it. One virtue you forgot is once Aaron loves somebody, oops, sorry, I don't want to shake this, she loves them ever. Yeah. And she always has their back. Well, unless she's beating them up because they irritated her. <laughs> yeah. But she's extremely loyal. Fiercely to the loyal. People she loves. She I'm, take anybody on. I'm fierce, fiercely loyal, sometimes to a fault. But you can even even if it's to a fault, you can always appreciate yeah. the loyalty and where it comes from. Okay, what's the next one? Next question. What's more important? Love, fame, power, or money? Money, hello. Wow, gee, love includes all those things. <laughs> yeah. Man. How can you love somebody who doesn't have money? Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. And power and fame. Yeah, exactly. Even if they're famous in their own part of the world. You all know? inclusive. So if you have somebody and they have friends and they're famous in that little circle. Yeah. You want somebody who has enough money to put a roof over your head. Because you don't want to work. on the table. Yeah, you don't want to work for those things. Yeah. But yeah. Or, you, or you want to love yourself enough to provide those things, right? No. It's uh, much easier. Love. Yeah. But it's your love requirements that can extend to all those other things. Love is the be. obvious answer here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you could live in any era slash time period, when would it be and why? I'm excited for this one. I'd have to live in this one because this is the only one I'm equipped to deal with. Well, let's say era then, like decade. The decade? Yeah. I stick the 70s. 70s. I just want to stay in the 70s. Yeah. The music is so cool. I grew up loving 70s music because of my dearest mother. Certainly less of your father. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mine would be the 60s. Yeah. I love the 60s. John Lennon, one of my favorite people in the world. Um, the Beatles, not my favorite band, but they're all right. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. would have loved to be alive for that kind, that time. Um, and that just desegregation and all of that, would have loved that. Um, yeah, I just think the 60s is like, I, I really <coughs> enjoy the hippie movement and um, I think Woodstock was in the 60s. Would have loved to have gone to that. I was the last of that. Well, you didn't go. No, but I, I know the songs. Yeah, but you didn't go. Joe Hill. Well, you I'm didn't dreaming. But you didn't I'm go. Joe Hill. Did you go? No. I think Jerry went. No, Jerry. I don't think Jerry was old man. Yeah, I would have loved to have been alive during that time. Yeah, so screwed up on yeah. drugs. Yeah, but nobody cared at the time. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> No, I just, I think, like, it was just, um... I wouldn't have let you go to that side. <laughs> would have been, over my dead body, young lady! Yeah, right. Long hair, you'd be freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to drive the folks back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I just, just always love yeah. hearing about that time. That's a tragic time. I mean, JFK was assassinated. The world was in chaos. I mean, yeah. you had to pay a pig. But now in Martin the, Luther, that Robert Kennedy was assassinated. But it's just so interesting now. I wish I just I just wish I had seen it all. Um, it's a time to be alive. I was alive. But I was only three when JFK was assassinated. Next one. Alright. If you had to redo your entire wardrobe with two stores, what would they be and why? Walmart and Kmart. Hello. <laughs> thrift store Walmart. No, not the thrift store. Uh yeah. Walmart and Belk. Walmart for my everyday t-shirt and khaki. You can't say Walmart Please. as a serious answer. I am. What do you think my 
Well, this came from North uh, South Carolina, yeah. but my, my capris, Walmart, my t-shirts, Walmart, but belt in case, you know, I have to go to a funeral or something, I need that, <laughs> something nice to wear. I would choose Nordstrom. I really like Nordstrom's clothing. And... Ah, I'll say Walmart, all right, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, nice clothes. Yeah, happy clothes. Sometimes you can get cute, like, cardigans and stuff and comfy, comfy pants. Comfy clothes come from Walmart. Comfy clothes. Because then if you wreck Walmart. them, who cares? Yeah. Can you recall what you were doing a year ago on this day? This day is February 17th. No. I was in school. I was trying to graduate from cosmetology school. I was probably nursing a headache. That oh, you know what? Day. I actually had a snow day a year from today. I can go on Facebook on the oh, on, yeah. on this day feature. Yeah. So let me tell you guys what I was doing a year ago today. What was I doing? Snow day at Miller Mott. Oh, then I was definitely nursing a headache. <laughs> yeah. Playing bingo blitz. <laughs> um, our door was... It's letting me start record again, so maybe you just have a time limit on your memory card. That's the same memory card I used in my other one. It doesn't look like the space is full. It just looks like we went on too long. But oh, maybe the, the screen darkened. No, it, it stopped recording. Oh, all right. Anyway, so yeah, the door was frozen shut. Um, and just playing a lot of bingo blitz and, you know, mm. pretty much the same thing I'm doing now. Just Nothing. I'm a licensed cosmetologist now. That's it. Going back to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. All right. Do you have reoccurring dreams? If so, explain. I do not. I, I don't recall my dreams. And what? I do not. You don't remember your dreams? I do not. Never have. Really? Yeah. I always have very lucid dreams when I'm asleep. Kevin is like that too. Like I'm like, what'd you dream about? He's like, I don't know. Why? How do you know? And I was like, you don't remember? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, do I have any reoccurring dreams? I don't think so. I mean, sometimes I wake up and I feel like it's a reoccurring dream, but I don't remember if it is. Like, like maybe I just dreamed it for the first time. I don't know. But no, not not that I can recall. What's your horoscope? Libra. Pisces. What it what it projects for me today, I don't know because I don't read it. Yeah, I don't I leave it all up to God. Yeah, I don't I don't read the horoscope stuff. I don't believe in it, but um it's fun anyway. Yeah. What does your dream bedroom look like? It looks like a hammock <laughs> on a balcony, the ocean. Your face is That's like my view. lit up. <laughs> a cup of coffee. You're like, funny you should ask. <laughs> Pretty much looks like Myrtle Beach. Yeah. <laughs> In a hammock. <laughs> um, on my balcony with coffee. Mine's not so different. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, you know, an actual bed in my bedroom. I like to sleep on a bed. A hammock, that's the air. Yeah, that's yeah. on my porch. Oh, but sleeping outside, I love it, at Ronald Beach. Nah. So, I've got my bed, and I've got, it's um, all neutral colored with some pops of, you know, champagne. Um, champagne. Yeah. Champagne. <laughs> yeah. Champagne, gold, silver accents. Um, and I've, it's no lighting required during the day. It's all sunny, open. Um, there, I'm, I live on, you know, the ocean, so I've got the windows open and you hear the breeze and the waves crashing in the background. I've been in a room like that in Maine and it was just divine. It wasn't a bedroom though, but I would like that room with some bedroom furniture. What about at Marble Beach? Stayed in a room like that. The beach was right there. Yeah, but it didn't have the windows. It wasn't like oh, open. Oh, yeah. at was least a big. Also sleeping on a floor, so there's. Oh, the mattress on the floor. I had a couch. <laughs> was not comfortable. Says the person who was sleeping in a bed. So next question: What position do you sleep in? I sleep on my left side, or my right side, but lately my left side. 
I sleep kind of on my stomach slash on my side with my shoulder up by my head and my arm tucked under the pillow. That's kind of exactly like I see. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Who is your favorite vampire of all time? Uh. Never met a vampire that I liked. Yeah. What's that? Doc Shadows. Which is me. My sister used to watch Doc Shadows. I couldn't watch it. Because I had nightmares about vampires when I was a kid. Ooh. But Bill the Vampire. I read his book. His books. Bill the Vampire. That's my favorite. There was this movie on the Disney Channel back in the day called Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. So, um... I like the movie, I'll say that, vampire. Even though he was a vampire. <laughs> what? Yeah, as far as blood suckers go. <laughs> yeah. What are you currently wearing on your feet? Nothing. Actually, I do have some cute shoes on. I mean, socks on, right now. Yeah, but you get pills. Um, because they're just so loved. Oh. So I, that's, that's what I'm, that's I have naked feet. That's what's on these feet. Do you have neat handwriting? Show us. I have gorgeous handwriting. I do too, but your battery's flashing. Uh oh. So I need to hurry up. up. Not shut it off. We'll shut it off and then we'll show our, our finished products. Okay. All right. So here's my handwriting. And that's. good cursive, but it's hard to read. That's because you were taught cursive. That's I was taught back. cursive? Didn't you see my cursive? Right here. Coming back. Really? I heard it was going away. They no, they decided it's coming back. They haven't been teaching cursive in schools, which is just crazy to me. I know, but it's coming back. Oh, well, that's good. This is the end of our video. Oh, look at our little ghetto set up here. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the video. We'll close it out. Okay. Goodbye, people. Bye. We're going to do another video. More talks. All right. All right. So here's my handwriting. And that's... It's good cursive, but it's hard to read. That's because you and I... Taught cursive. It's I was taught back. cursive. Didn't you see my cursive? Right here. Coming back. Really? I heard it was going away. They no, they've decided it's coming back. They haven't been teaching cursive in schools, which is just crazy to me. I know, but it's coming back. Oh, well, that's good. This is the end of our video. Oh, look at our little ghetto set up here. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the video. We'll close it out. Okay. Goodbye, people. Bye. We're going to do another video. More talks. All right.